so tell us uh, a bit about your preparation process the entire cat journey how it went and right so uh, uh, with cat honestly uh, i had a very different mindset when i first started i used to think that okay it's mostly about quants because that is the kind of input that i was getting from uh, a lot of people online so i thought mm-hmm. okay it's more if it's just quants mostly then i can do it because i'm an engineer i studied maths but when right. i finally got to like taking mock tests and then actually seeing the concepts i could see that okay actually vrc is the section where my strength is and mm-hmm. dilr at the start i was very scared of the dilr section and then mm-hmm. finally i saw that okay quants even though i am good at quants the problem is that i don't have a lot of speed so uh, according to that i gave a lot of mock tests and accordingly i changed my preparation strategy and so honestly uh, cat is a for some people i can see how it's a hit and a miss that uh, either either you can like just in your mind at least either you can just ace it or you think okay this is the most difficult thing ever but i honestly think that with cat it's mostly a test of strategy more than anything uh, it's yeah. not uh, in fact i would even say that for cat it's not like uh, if you put in 100 hours and you will get x amount of result so if you put in 200 hours you will get 2x results that's not how it's going to work at all <laughs> yeah definitely not you, you really have to like it's a vector quantity so the mm-hmm. direction in which the effort is going that is very important so very true very true correct right. so uh, especially uh, for that i think sir uh, the uh, kind of mentorship that you get that really uh, that really tells that really holds a very uh, true importance in the kind of results that you're going to get so okay. in, in in that aspect i would really like to thank thank findworks for all the guidance that you have given uh, throughout mm-hmm. the journey honestly could not be happy <laughs>